Welcome to another video on complementary and supplementary word problems. This is not my first video on the subject, but I'm going to offer some more examples in this video and hopefully uh, the approach that I go through in this video is going to be slightly different than the first one, so hopefully this will be a little bit helpful for you. When we say complementary, of course, we're talking about angles that sum to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles sum to 180. All right, so complementary angles, you know, we're talking about two or more angles that add to 90. So if this is 30, this is 60 degrees, something like that, right? 180, these are angles that add up to a straight line. So if we have, you know, 155 degrees, then we have 25 degrees right here. All right, that's kind of like the basics that you're going to need to know for this video. If you need to go back and, and sort of uh, look up some of the old definitions and algebraic examples of complementary and supplementary, please do so. I have a few videos on my site. So here we go. Number one, two angles are supplementary and one is twice as big as the other. I'm going to highlight that word and immediately let myself know that we're dealing with 180. And one is twice as big as the other and I need to find both angles. All right, so when I go through these, I'm going to set my first angle equal to x, and my second angle is going to be something that has that x in it. And the relationship is right here. It's twice as big as the other. It's twice as big as the other, two times the first one. All right, and then we just write our equation. Our equation comes from the word that's highlighted, the first angle plus the second angle equals 180. So 3x equals 180. x is 60 degrees. We need to find both angles, which means the other angle needs to, of course, be 2 times 60. So if x is 60, the other one is 2 times that. So we're dealing with 60 and 120. It's always kind of good practice here when you get your answers just to check to make sure that they indeed add up to 180 and they do. Number two, two angles are complementary. I'll highlight that and one is a fourth of the other. Find both. All right, so we go first angle is x. Second angle is a fourth of the first one, a fourth of the first one, one fourth times x. Let's write our equation. The first plus the second is equal to complementary. That's 90 degrees. So 1 plus 1 fourth is 5 over 4, or 1.25. There's a 1 here, so I can transform that into 4 over 4. 4 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is 5 over 4. That equals 90. And we're just simply going to now, I guess, divide everything by 1.25. Instead of multiplying, or instead of dividing by 1.25, you can also multiply both sides by the reciprocal. These cancel, we get 90 times 4. 90 times 4 is 360 over 5. And that comes out to be uh, 72. 72. So that's the first equation. That's the first angle, rather. 72. And the second one is a fourth of that. So what's a fourth of 72? Well, a fourth of 72. It's 72 divided by 4. So it's 1 and 8. 18 degrees. And that makes sense. Because these two should add up to 90 degrees. And they do. 72 plus 18 is 90. There you go. Let's step it up a little bit. Number three, two angles are supplementary, and one is three more than twice the other. All right, so let's get our highlighter out here. I'm going to highlight this word supplementary. That's 180. Three more than twice the other. Find both. All right, so let's set the first angle again equal to x, and the second angle is going to be three more than twice the other. Twice the other plus 3. More than, of course, means plus. So it's 3 plus twice the other. You can write it 3 plus 2x 
or 2x plus 3, doesn't matter. And our equation goes over here, the first angle plus the second angle equals a straight line, 180, combine like terms, and solve. 3x is equal to 177. So 177 over 3. Let's see what that is. We get 5, 15, uh, 2, 7, 59 looks like a winner. 59 is the first angle. And the second one should be 2 times that plus 3. So that's 118, uh, 121. And we'll check to make sure that these two add up to 180. 121 and 59, yep, that works out fine. Last one. Two angles are complementary, and one is 6. So you've got 90 degrees here, I'll highlight that. And one is 6 less than 3 times the other, find both. All right, so we've got 3 times the other, and 6 less than that. We're going to put that at the end, minus 6 at the end. Be careful not to do this. A lot of students do this. This is wrong. 6 minus 3x is not the right order. 6 less than 3 times the other one looks like this. So my first angle is x, my second angle is 6 less than 3 times the other. Let's write our equation. So we have the first one, x plus the second one equals 90. So 4x equals 96. And we divide, right, 96, that's 2, 8, and 4. The first one should be 24 degrees. And the second one, 3 times 24 minus 6. So that's, let's see, 72 minus 6 is 66. And we'll just check to make sure that those two add up to 90. 24 plus 66 is 90, so that works out well. So there you go, about seven and a half minutes on uh, how to write equations when we're dealing with complementary and supplementary word problems. And then after we write those equations, you know, actually solving them for both angles. So I hope that helped you, and uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and uh, thanks for watching.